can still find it. There's a cock right at the window there. Alright, fine. Low to the corner. One of the two towers stood. It's not there. It's a surreal environment. It's it's almost impossible to construct. Again, except to make a war correlation. Whoever said somebody can wear a sword, it certainly looks like that. Thank you, Rachel. It is uh, five o'clock. 
on this Tuesday, September 11th, uh, 2001, a mm -hmm. day we'll never forget in New York's history, in this nation's history. So yes. much going on, of course. So we have our reporters out on the field. Vince Dementri is joining us right now. He is live in lower Manhattan with an update as to what's happening there at the moment. Vince? I can tell you, uh, I've just been a place that I have uh, been to that, frankly, uh, no firefighters want to go to. Behind me, UC Burning 7 World Trade Center. I didn't know it at the beginning, at the tape you're about to see. I didn't know it was the 7 World Trade Center, but I know it now coming back. A four block radius has been cordoned off because fire officials expect that building to collapse. I've been within 10 feet of that building within the last 15 minutes. I've been as close to where no one wants to be. Take a look. first saw it and walked up to it, I'm, you heard it as you were racing to it, but to see it's another thing. What's the first thing that went through your head just after initially seeing it? I just wanted to cry, to be honest with you. It's terrible. We are in an abandoned skyscraper, and quite frankly, I don't even know where I'm at. I see a sign outside that just gives me a reference of Barclay Street. As you can see all around here, the windows have been blown completely out. And as we take to a walk towards the front, towards the front of the building here, you want to take a look outside. If you have never been to war, like I have never been to war, then this is what it looks like. We don't know what that building is. We don't know where, where this building is, but they're obviously on fire. Maybe in, 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 there's a chance that they could collapse. I've been on this earth for 37 years. I've never been to a war, but I can only imagine that uh, this is as close as I've ever come. It, it's an unbelievable sight. I've never seen something like this. And, and I'm 20 years on this job. This is the worst I've ever seen it before. It, 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 it's unbelievable, the, the devastation. Uh, we've got burnt cars. We have the top of the World Trade Center topple onto the street. We have possible. We don't know how many people are missing right now. We don't have, we don't have that number yet, but I'm sure that there is. There have been web heard reports that there are just bodies littering the street. Uh, well, there's reports of people trapped inside the building, but we haven't, you know, we, have, we haven't gone. We, we, we can't go in yet until the fire is under control. debris falling from a nearby building of the World Trade Center. We're at West Broadway in Barclay. Very difficult to breathe here, but look around. This must have been ground zero where this thing blew up. Car after car after car. Buses completely obliterated and burned straight down to the steel. Behind me, that gaping hole, that's where one of the two towers stood. It's not there. And as you can see above me, the fire in this adjacent building just continues to rage. It's a surreal environment. It's, it's almost impossible to describe. Again, except to make a war correlation. Whoever said somebody declared war on us, it certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Well, we just... Uh... You know, again, you, you hate to make these, these war correlations, but uh, my photographer and I, Terrence, you know, we just went from street to street, building to building, alley to alley, and we just weaved our way in. Uh, you know, when we got as far as we thought we could go, we, you know, we talked it to each other, and of course safety was amongst our concern. And we just said, let's, let's just keep going. Let's see how far we can get to this without endangering our own safety. And uh, when you saw how close we got to what I now realize behind me, seven world trade on fire and expected to collapse you know what was really frightening is is mm -hmm. that when we were looking around there was nobody there mm. it was us and that was it and i think at that point the realization was that we were really in a place where we really just needed to to get yes. as much video as we possibly could to show everybody just the just the total devastation and the destruction and then just get out. Well, it was dramatic to watch, and we also have some video right now that we're looking at. You interviewed one of the firefighters there. You were talking about the number of people that are missing. Uh, he said that they don't know. There are many trapped inside, but they can't go in, I, I heard him say, until that fire is under control. Uh, do you have anything more on that as to when they might be able to get in there? 
Ernie, all I can tell you is that everyone that is talking to me right now, fire officials, police officials, emergency officials are telling me they'd love to go in there and do whatever they can to try to rescue anybody that might still be alive. But they can't. There are too many things on fire. There are too many buildings that they are concerned with collateral damage that could collapse at any minute. And imagine the catastrophe that would then take place that if you sent in hundreds, maybe thousands of rescuers to be in that situation, to have 50, 60, 70 tall skyscrapers around them collapse on them. It's wrenching their hearts. This is what they get paid to do. But right now, nobody can go in. Right. You just can't. Oh, where the fire's, where the fire's taking most of it, right? So that's the weakest part. That fire is in this building, close building. This building, yeah. Yeah. Looks like this building is burning. Yeah, burning. Go. Your name, ma'am? Barbara Crowley. C-R-O-W-L-E-Y. NYU Medical Center. Okay, tell me okay. what you know. All I know at this point is they're trying to establish an outdoor hospital facility like we've set up at Chelsea Piers, a like triage, a triage unit, for the, the personnel that are attending to the scene, not to the injured in the scene. They can't get in to get any casualties out at this time. They don't know the extent of it at this point. What we're doing now is going up to get medical supplies to bring down trauma physicians down here to set up the surgical unit and the, uh, the triage unit down here. In addition to, if anybody out there can help, any vendors who have food or supplies, the firemen have no food, nothing but snacks. They need fluids, they need water, and they need protein foods. This is just the beginning of what they're facing. So we're, and we need masks. We need TB masks. Holy shit! What is it? It just went down. What just went down? World Trade 7. It did go down before. No, seven, number seven. Oh my God! Let me go back to Vince Dimitri now, who is right in the area of where Building 7, the World Trade Center, collapsed just moments ago. Vince appears to be getting ready. I want to make sure Vince can hear us. Vince, can you hear us yet? Again, that building collapsing just moments ago, 47 stories down there on Vesey Street. Uh, Vince was across the street from that building just moments before it collapsed and then went ahead and uh, filed a report a few minutes ago telling us about what he saw to be ground zero there, burned out cars, debris everywhere. Again, you'll take a look at it. Again, this is not one of the Twin Towers. Right. This is a building that fell just moments ago. It had been burning for hours. There's Building it's 7, incredible. 47 stories down to the ground. But thank goodness uh, Vince had the foresight to move and um, we're looking to hear from Vince. Here. I think the most eerie thing was to, to look at the, uh, the videotape uh, of Vince and his photographer walking mm -hmm. around the area and seeing how desolate it was. Yes. No bodies, right. burned cars, debris, parts of buildings, uh, short, not too far away from where they stood, what was uh, where had one of right. the towers had been standing. And again, we're waiting for uh, Vince to talk to us. But again, Building 7 has gone down. We should also point out, we believe that firefighters, rescue teams, and police had moved back from that building before, which we're about to see again here on videotape, knowing that fire could not be fought because of the instability of the structure, because of the, the fire that had burned since shortly after 9 o'clock this morning. Dana Tyler is joining us in the...